Good evening, YouTubers. It's Brew by Me again. Like I said, I'm going to try and do as many St. Ambrose products as I have um, tonight. Um, so tonight, I'm going to review their St. Ambrose India Pale Ale by the McLaughlin Brewery in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Um, now, this is a seasonal beer, I believe. I don't think they make it all the time. Um, I think they make it in the fall. Um, it's kind of hard to find, um, and they only usually have it in four packs. Or, like I said uh, in one of my last reviews, there's a place on the other side of the border in Quebec, Gatineau, Quebec, called Bruhaha. Um, they specialize in Quebec breweries uh, beer. Um, so this is a Quebec brewery, so they have weird uh, mixer packs uh, for St. Ambrose. Like the one I picked up, I think it had... Uh, three uh, India Pale Ale, three Oatmeal Stout, three uh, Stock, uh, no, uh, Scotch Ale, and three of the Blonde um, beers. <coughs> so anyhow, if you guys are ever in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada, go check out Brew, Brew Ha Ha. This place is awesome. Over 300 different types of beer. It's like a candy store, I'm telling you. Let's open her up. Oh, let's read what the back says. St. Ambrose India Pale Ale is dry hopped using traditional methods and is brewed with a selection of pale and specialty malts for balanced multi character. Ingredients water, malt, 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 golden hops, and a Willamette hops. Now, I went on and on, but it's pale malt, crystal malt, and Munich malt. Anyhow, it told me what I was going to pick up, but, anyways, whatever. Let's open her up and uh, see what we get. Using my keg connection opener because I can't, I don't really have any other openers. Excuse me. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Anyways, let's give her a pour my St. Ambrose glass again. St. Ambrose beer, IPA. Hey. Nice, uh, dark, golden in color, almost in the amber spectrum, not quite, but almost. A finger of head. Onto the smell. Nice carbonation, actually. Hmm. Weird. Anyways, for an IPA, I don't get any hop smell off the bottle or off the glass. Hmm. Anyways, let's see. Uh, there's no really, uh, no no smells really coming off the glass. You know, you got your usual uh, sweet sweetness, maltiness. Um, not too much bitterness. I can't smell it off the off the nose. Hmm. Anyhow, let's see if I can taste and tell you guys what I th I think. Well, at least it tastes better than it smelled. See, in my opinion, IPAs should be hoppy, should be either this color or a little darker, and you should get, like, right away, depending on where the IPA came from, you should get that citrus, you should get that pine, you should get that grapefruit, you should get those smells, but there was no smell whatsoever. So, as you drink it, it's a tasty beer. Um, I wouldn't really say it's a fantastic IPA. Um, I've had way better IPAs, like that Red Racer IPA I reviewed way back when. That was a frickin' good IPA. 
this one is a decent IPA but it's missing the aroma that you would get from a regular IPA like I don't understand for it being dry hopped I don't get no smells whatsoever from the hops <laughs> anyways so as I drink it you get the sweetness you get the maltiness um, you get the caramel malt um, um, there is some citrus in there there is some piney in there but these are more like uh, earthy hops like the Willamette and Goldings are more along the earthy woody type hops so excuse me so I'm getting slight citrus and pine but more of the earthy woody type hops that they're using Willamette and Golding hops yeah um, basically uh, it says on there they use crystal malt and Munich malt they're fairly similar similar in uh, uh, style so the crystal malt is giving you that caramel type of, type of taste that you're getting and uh, the Munich is giving you the toffee um, the toffee character there um, it's 6.2 ABV um, so it's a you know it's a little higher than average beer um, no alcohol burn whatsoever easy drinking beer uh, nice dry crisp um, the only thing it's lacking um, in my opinion is IPAs you should smell the hops right away you should smell um, you should smell whatever uh, style they're going for you should smell that like American IPAs are usually citrusy grapefruity you know very 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 aromatic like that whereas these guys this one there's none of that so you know it's kind of missing that for an IPA for me um, um, like I said uh, before, I, I like St. Ambrose Brewery um, or McLaughlin Brewery. Um, I like them a lot and all of their beers are good, but this one is not hitting the mark for me. It's, it's a good beer, like uh, it tastes good and everything, but it's not really hitting the IPA mark that I'm looking for. Um, for, and especially being dry hop, there's nothing there. There's no dry hopping whatsoever that I can tell because there's no smell off of it. I think the next time they make this, they should dump some more hops in there to get the smell off of it. Anyhow, it's a little bit of there's a little bit of spiciness there from the the Willamette. Um, more of a floral woody uh, type of smell and kind of taste opposed to the usual IPA citrus and uh, you know pine um, there's not much more I can say about it there is there is hops in there um, excuse me um, they have pale malt in there, they have caramel malt in there, they have Munich malt in there. Um, all in all, it's not a bad beer. It's drinkable, it's tasty, but I think they're kind of missing the mark on an IPA, in my opinion. Anyhow, if you can find it and you want to try a decent beer, give it a try. Um, unfortunately it's not going to be the IPA you guys are looking for um, it's kind of boring in that aspect because IPAs like I said man as soon as you open the bottle you get the pow the smell of the citrus the grapefruit or or you know that's for American IPAs and then for for uh, European IPAs or English IPAs you get the the the, the woodiness and the floralness um, and there is a little bit of that in this, but not not enough for me to say, well, wow, this is a, 
a fantastic IPA. It's it's not fantastic. It's decent. Um, um, I couldn't say that I would go out and buy it, but I could say if it came in a mixer pack with the uh, with their raspberry or you know some of their other products, I'd pick it up just because. And um, I'm not knocking this beer; it's drinkable and whatever. But anyhow, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any comments or ideas or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and let me know what you think. I don't care if it's negative or positive, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just doing this for fun, kind of. Um, I'm not saying I'm a professional uh, beer taster in any means, but uh, I'm telling you I know what good beer tastes like, and uh, that's about it. Anyhow, cheers, good beer drinking to y'all. We'll see you next time.